Good morning, guys. We're up on a Sunday morning up in the town of Alwinton, or the village of Northumberland. Um, just going to go on a hike, have a bit of explore. Uh, as you've probably seen a few months ago, I came up here and I headed west out of Alwinton, did a wild camp up on the top of the hill. Really good, really enjoyed it. So it's a lovely little place, Alwinton. Very popular hikers and mountain bikers. So I'm just pulled up here. So that's where we are. Just come up here and park the car. And what we're going to do is we're going to head up here. Up there, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there to a place called Kenton Forest. And then Basically, we're going to come back around the forest, back down here, and back down in Alwinton. So that's the plan. Obviously, there's quite a lot of paths sort of crisscrossing over, so depending on how much of a good day we have, we can uh, make the walk shorter or longer, just how we see fit. Um, it wasn't forecast to rain, and the winds are very light, but we're having a little shower at the minute, so just pull it up. I'm just going to get my stuff together, and we'll head off. And as always, I'm sure we'll get plenty of video and plenty of photographs and have a load of fun. Okay, now just one little top tip. I do do a lot of solo hiking, just me and the dog, as you've probably seen on the videos. So before I leave, I always make sure somebody knows where I am, where I'm heading, and roughly what time I'm due back. So I told my daughter this morning, I showed her the map, showed her where I was going to park the car, where I was heading, and what time I'm due back. So when I get back to the car, I'll ring her, and let her know everyone's safe. Just, you know... It's always what if, because, you know, at the end of the day, if I didn't tell anyone where I was going, then it would be like finding a needle in a haystack, you know, nobody would know where I was or how to find us. So just always always be mindful of that. Um, and if you, you know, if you do change your mind and go somewhere else, or, you know, expect to be out longer, just, just send a text home or give them a quick phone call. It's, you know, at the end of the day, it could save your life one day. But anyway... Um, right, let's get my boots on, gaiters on, and get the dog, and let's go and have some fun. Right, anyway, we 
to continue on. Up there into the unknown. <laughs> Right, I'll just check the map because we've come to what's called a sheepfold. Um, it's basically a man made structure out of stone, a big circular structure for like the sheep to settle in when it's horrible, windy, and wet. So it's a, it's a bit of a sort of a landmark. So, what I normally do is just have a look at the map. They're normally mentioned on the map. Just to get your bearings to make sure because as you can see you know when you're just walking around this it all just looks the same and with the thick mist and fog you can't really see that far ahead so you can't really see landmarks off in the distance so just to check in on the map as i say just check we're still on route which we are and there you go so, you put your tent up in the middle of there and be wind free. Come on, you out of there. Oi, hey, come on. Right, we'll continue on. Sorry, there's not many things to show you. But as you can see, it's just a foggy day. Now, over the top of here, heading north, we should start to see the, the forest, Kinland Forest. That's where we're heading. So again, another sort of landmark. Once you get to see that, and you're heading, you know, check the compass, check your heading north, and you see that, and it gives you a sort of bearing to head to. I'm just slowly getting out and getting more and more confidence, using my OS map and using my compass. You know, just try the hour. And um, this one's quite easy, really, to follow. Uh, you know, as long as you just keep checking. You've also got View Ranger, Google Maps on your phone. Um, View Ranger, you don't need a signal because it goes off your GPS. But Google Maps, you need your 4G. But it's, you know, you can go on View Ranger, just have a quick look, and just check the tallies up on with the map, and. Uh, is it back up? But hey, see, now I know the woods are just over there, going off my map, but you see, you can't see them. So, well, anyway, I hope they're there. <laughs> but we'll continue. Okay, so we've just come down from the fells. Down in the valley, there's the river Aln. So we're going to come down, sort of this path here, down there, and down there, to that gate, and then follow that track up to the valley where we're going to meet the woods. Look at that, though, isn't that beautiful? As you can see, it's just as we've come down off the moors, the the mist starting to lift a bit now. So we might get some views after all, you never know. And, uh, we've walked, let's have a look. Bear with us one second. Just watch the eels up. Just over two miles. Just an hour. So doing well. And we'll continue on. Having a great day. I know. You know this, every time I stop to talk, he starts whimpering. He just wants to keep going and going and going. And I don't know whether that's, I want to keep going because the more I keep going, the quicker I'm going to get back to the car. Or whether it's just, um, I'm having so much fun, Dad. I just want to keep walking. I don't know. What's the matter with you? 
Eh? Yeah. I can't even better look at this. Oh, he's probably seen that sheep down there. Right, let's go are we on. On this forestry track into the forest. You can see the mist lifting now. There's still a bit on the high ground, but it's, uh, it's lifting. Somebody get some views on the wall back up. But yeah, I'm just gonna head up here and the road here's off to the left. into the woods and then we'll see if we can find a little spot to have some lunch. It's about half past eleven now so maybe in about an hour, hour and a half. And then we'll stop somewhere. If you have a look, there's plenty of uh, little places you can pitch a tent down by the river in the summer. Uh, I presume it's forestry commission that I don't know. You know, if you can get permission off the land over, you should always ask them. But you all know that anyway. But yeah, so you've got a little river camp. No doubt there'll be a woodland camp. Or you can have a fell camp. You could even, I think, probably drive most of the way up here in the car if you want to. I like the, I like the hike. I like the walk. Four or five miles, pitch me tent up and walk back. It just makes it a bit more of an adventure. But anyway, I think that yellow gate is the track that goes off to the left. So we'll go and check that out, check the map, and uh, get a bearing and head off into the woods. Right guys, we are just there. So there's Alwyn. We've come all the way, basically a straight line, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. To there, and then we're going to go up, follow that green path, and then up and off the side of the map. So, still on track. So let's go up. So after the forestry track, I'm going to head up through this bit of wood, up on the top, heading sort of northwest now, and then sort of round the top, curve around the top of the northwest, and start heading back. We're about four and a half mile in, so I just found this little fallen tree. That'll do is a bit of a sort of Coat stand, bag stand, seat. So multi-purpose. So anyway, so got me a little set pad. Keep me bone dry and warm. So I'll sit on that. So for lunch today, we've got snack rice, smoky bacon crisps from Aldi. And we've got an army ration tomato pasta salad. And you can eat these hot or cold, but I think thank, but I think um I'm gonna have a cold. So give that a go. Um get myself some calories in. And this is off my friend at work, Dave. So big shout out to Dave if you're watching. I much appreciate these meals you keep giving us. And uh Oh, you big time. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to sit and enjoy this and have 10 minutes before we start the sort of second half of the walk. Right, I've got a top tip. I've just had my lunch. It was nice actually. 
Be a lot better feet than that. Get some calories inside of us. So, you've got to ask yourself, what are you going to do with the dirty food packet? Well, watch this. I just have to balance the phone. One dirty food packet. Fold it up. You don't want to put that in your bag. However, one clean crisp packet. Put said dirty packet inside said clean packet. Fold it up. Put that in your bag. Everything stays dry and clean. How about that for Phil's top tip? Just left the bottom of the valley there where we had lunch and we're zigzagging up the forest track. See the mist rising up off the trees. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, yeah, just gonna keep on this track for a while and head up into them woods. Not a slightest bit of breeze. It's lovely. I'm just thinking I'm off tomorrow, you know. I wish I'd brought the tent. But hey, not allowed. COVID restrictions. But you know, you just sort of think I could just keep walking and walking and walking and just pitch up somewhere. But don't worry, I haven't got the tent. And I'm not going to wild camp because that's not in the rules. We can get ourselves out for as much exercise as we want. But as far as I know, you're not allowed to stop overnight. Anyway, you don't live unless it's in your bubble or whatever. So, and plus the fact, it'll probably be cold later on. <clears throat> but um, I've got me winter stuff now. But I, it's, it's like everything else. So once you know you can't do it, it then bugs you and you wish you could have. You know. As soon as someone says you can't wild camp, you think, well, I want to. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the forbidden fruit, isn't it? But anyway, we're having a good day. We're full up of calories. And, uh, yeah, just carrying on. Very peaceful. Lovely, lovely day for hiking. And then, uh, we'll probably stop somewhere later on just to make myself a cup of coffee. Have a coffee in a granola bar. I'm actually thinking of extending the walk and because it's probably going to get dark probably I would imagine about five o'clock at night because nights are cutting in and plus the fact with it being as misty so I fancy doing a bit of a sort of night hike like I'm not on about stopping out till midnight but just you know if it got dark and I sort of stayed out till about five six o'clock and just sort of Wandered back in for the last hour. Sort of wandered through the woods with me. I've got my torch. Something else I always start packing in November. You know, you might not want, you might not think you're going to be out until it gets dark, but you know, you get lost or you get delayed. It's one of them things that it's invaluable. Once it gets dark, you're going to wish you had one. So it's in the bag now. It'll stay in the bag now, probably about me. For what room it takes. So, there you go, you can sort of. The road's bending around to the left, and you can see. You see where it comes back up, goes off into the woods. So, I'll head up that way. But there's a couple of different ways we can go and hit the woods. We can do the longer path or the sort of shorter version. But at the minute, the way I feel, I might do the longer one. But that's the beauty of it when you've got a map and a compass and you've got no time restrictions, you can just add on 
or take off your route, depending on how you feel. So anyway, keep watching and you'll find out. Come on then. Right, it's half past one, I'm about five and a half miles in, just listen, listen. Exactly, I can't hear anything too, it's so peaceful, you can probably tell though, we're back up in the fog, in the mist. So we've gained some elevation since we've had lunch and uh, basically we're going to go up there and the little unknown in the mist Hopefully Bigfoot will be asleep Not the chief yet, Yeti Might be asleep but we don't want to wake him up But uh, anyway protect this. Right, right. So, but yeah, have another lovely time. Nice little Christmas tree there. Just saying. <laughs> saying that way, I was just couldn't be bothered to carry that all the way back to the car. But, uh, Peaceful. I just keep expecting to hear like a scream or something. <laughs> Imagine if you just hear it like a ah! <laughs> oh, you would be able to hear like a shot. I don't know which way I'd run though. Whichever way is just into the fog, you might be running into danger. Oh, yeah, me. Honestly, when you're out by yourself, you know, you just start going a bit. Daft and a bit loopy, but eh, uh, why not? Cleanses your mind, cleanses you, cleanses your mind. This man out here, yeah, it's good for the soul, man, good for the mind, and it's good for your legs as well. <laughs> Aye, mightn't be that at five o'clock at night, though, you know, but I get home and have a nice bath and a beer at night, but eh. Uh, Ah, it's good to push yourself, feel good. And, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're having fun. Hello. You alright? Having fun. If dogs could speak, eh? <laughs> right, anyhow. Come on, let's be serious. And, uh, get some hiking done. Yeah. Come on then. You know, it's frustrating walking in all this mist. Because you know, you come to somewhere like here, where there's a clearing. And I'll see, you can't see more than sort of 300 yards in front of you. And you know, I could be an amazing view across the fells to Alwyn. I might just be a hill full of trees, you just don't know, do you? Leave it up your imagination. But there's no views today. So we're having a good time. We are six and a half miles in. Just over three hours. So we'll head west through the fog. Probably for another mile, two mile maybe. And then we swing left to go south. And then it's south all the way to Alwyn, basically. And I think we'll start a descent, so we might come under the mist again. Might open up a bit. 
who knows um i'm gonna grab a coffee somewhere i've got my stove let's see what time it is two seconds bear with us it's five past two so, two good two two and maybe three hours before it gets dark so we shall carry on so the whole way up and now i've passed an elderly couple just outside of Alwyton who said hello and then a, a guy who was all suited up in his hiking gear walking by himself heading the other way so what's that six and a half mile in three hours past three people i was asked for social distancing there eh? at no point we were within two meters of each other <laughs> so yeah so yes i'm off this week coming so um my plan is to get out and get some hikes get out and push and get some hills done or some miles under my belt and just keep them going i am um, you know a couple of the other youtubers lads like andy wardle who does wild camping watch his channel and you know when he's not wild camping him and his mates trying to get out hiking just to keep fit keep used to it so when you do go out while camping and you've got your bag on the back your tent and everything else you know you can uh, keep up with the joneses you can get up them hills for the view so yeah so it's like sort of winter training if you like getting out during the winter keep hiking and plus the fact i love hiking Probably like hiking more than I do the wild camping, you know. That's what got us into wild camping. But if you keep keep getting out there, and then when the spring comes back round, and you know you want to go to the Lake District or go to Scotland or whatever, and get some peaks done, you fit enough to do it. So that's me drive. That's me inspiration. And, uh, I think as I said before, it's good for you, man. Good for your mind, good for you physically. And it's uh apart from petrol and a little bit of gas in your gas stove while you're cooking. It's part of these three. How about that, eh? So right. We'll get on into the mist. Catch you later. Somebody's little uh, caravan camping spot, maybe. It's probably for the forestry workers, to be honest. It's probably a little canteen or something, or a shelter. So, just heading down the hill now. You can see the mist starting to lift as we go down. So, hopefully, we'll be out of this shortly. having a quick breather get back out of it looks quite steep actually so we'll just take my time now does that look like a footpath to you <laughs> the footpath from hell there's a farmer's track just that the there it goes down that way which is where we want to be. That looks like a boffy or something up there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? It's all uh, boarded up like. I was going to go up and have a look, but there's no point. I wouldn't be able to see anything. So I'll save me legs. But, uh, so yeah, just come up there, across there, and up from there, from the mist up there. Back down into the Nava Valley now. Follow the track for a bit. Whew! I went out. So we are 7.3 mile in. We're doing well. Doing good. And it is only hmm, 20 past 2. So 
probably got two hours till it gets dark and I'm walking roughly three mile an hour to six mile <sighs> so I've got about six six miles worth of walk before it gets dark but it's obviously walking in that sort of woods and it'll probably get darker a bit quicker but stay at the tracks I've got my torch You happy? Watch, that's a nice pose, right? So I'll change it to the camera and then you move. Come on. Must be like an old scout or something. Maybe. Looks like a, someone's been sleeping in there. Or a sleeper, maybe. Some adventure scouts. Very hot though. Bloody creepy. I think it's a boffy because there's no signs up saying it is. But, uh, I, no. I don't think I need to spend the night in there. <laughs> no way. Came up that track on the right there. Meet this fork in the road. And that's the way we're heading. So, just to show you, there's all Winton. And we'll basically come up here, up here, through the forest, up there, and across. Right here, and there, that's where that cook, sp spooky haunted cottage thing is come up here and that's where we are now in the fork in the road I'm gonna follow this track this track basically going all the way down there all the way stay on this track all the way back down all went so we eight mile in so what probably another four or five mile maybe we'll see I tell you what mine for November there's loads of midges about I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if the camera will pick them up. There's like a swarm just there. So, alright. But anyway, right. So, we just had a know the bar, a bit of water. So, we'll continue on. It is. Let's have a look. It is 20 past three. Still quite like. Be another hour or so, I'm imagine. But, uh, we won't get back before it gets dark like not if we've got four or five miles so you don't know what it'll be three hours so mm, get back to the car about half six i think if i've worked that out well if i've worked that out right we'll see though i'm in no hurry just got my torch i want to do a bit of sort of night walking anyway right anyway i digress let's carry on <laughs> 